Pie Guys it's Sharon Stanley, I am a VFX artist, I know you guys are here for the surprise. Yes this video do have a surprise at the end, but don't rush to the end and watch that part alone. If you do, it won't be a surprise for you. So stick to the tutorial and learn some important tips. So today we are gonna see how to import a tree inside the element and do something like this. Yeah I know this is not a big animation but this is the basic step towards something big. So let's get started. By the way this is my first tutorial and sorry for the computer voice. So create a new comp by clicking Ctrl N. Make it to HD comp and 25 frames per seconds. Ok now create a new layer by clicking Ctrl Y. Let it be a HD layer. Now put the element 3D on the layer. I am using Video Copilot Effects Console. It's very useful to search the effects you need. You can add your favorite effects so you don't have to waste your time on searching the effects every time. It's free so download it. If you don't have console, just select the layer and go to effects and preset tab. And search for element 3D and double click on it to use the effect. Now click on the scene setup. So now import the tree model. If you don't have the tree model, you can download it from the description. Before you click OK, change the force alignment to bottom. So the pivot point will be at the bottom of the tree. Now click OK. Tree is imported successfully but you can't see anything because it's very small. To fix this, select the model and come to transform options and select normalize size. Now our model changed it to its original size. I was not satisfied with the lot of tree models in the internet. So I have modeled my own tree from Maya. Now let's start texturing the model. Again video copilots pro shaders. Wood collections, you can use from internet also. Let's try something. You don't have to use what I use. You can use anything you want. Ok I go with this. It looks good. Usually I use the element by selecting the arrow. So you can rotate your scene like you rotate in Maya. Alt and left button on your mouse. But with the camera icon selected you can rotate the scene just by clicking the left mouse button. If you are a Maya user then it must be a good tip for you. Ok back to the texture. This texture needs a small tweaks. Select the model and select the material. Our tree looks little glossy. So, come to the basic settings. And zero the glossiness and reduce the specular too. You don't have to copy my values, it might differ for your scene. So adjust the values until you get satisfied. Ok next. This texture is little bit stretched out. So select the material and click on the diffuse texture. Adjust the UV repeat. It changes the pattern on the model by repeating the texture. Again, you can adjust the values until you think it looks good. But you don't wanna overdo it. Ok it looks great. Next to the leaf texturing. Select the leaf material and go to the physical materials. Use the plastic white. Just drag it on the leaf material. Now it became white. We need to give texture for the leaf. Select the material. Select the diffuse. Click on the load texture and locate the leaf. Your texture must be in PNG format. Click OK. Now you can see the leaf has appeared on the white plane. But we still have the alpha. We need to get rid of that. Few months back only I have discovered how to get rid of the alpha. I was searching on YouTube for tutorials but I could not find out. Then recently I was watching a random tutorial. Then he showed me how to get rid of the alpha. So I thought of making a tutorial on that. So, to get rid of the alpha, select the material and go all the way down to the advanced options. And increase the alpha threshold value. Don't increase too much. Now you begin to see only the leaf. 
but the leaves are so much green. So, select leaf texture and click on the diffuse texture and reduce the brightness and saturation. Click OK. Leaves look a little glossy. So, select the material and reduce the glossiness. OK, it's perfect now. Now click OK. Now create a camera by clicking Ctrl Alt Shift C. Now you can set your frame for your scene. Use the camera tool to set the frame. I think some leaves are missing because we missed one option. Let's go back to the element 3D. Select the element layer and click on the scene setup. Now select the leaf material and go to the advanced settings and turn on the draw back faces option. Now you can see the difference. So, always turn on this option. Now click OK. Just rotate the scene. You will find the correct frame to start the animation. I'm gonna fix this as the starting frame. Now create a null by clicking Ctrl Alt Shift Y. Try to learn the shortcut keys, because you can save so much time and later you can watch Dragon Ball Super or Naruto. We use the null layer to drive the camera. To drive the camera by the null, we have to parent the camera to the null layer. To do this, click on the pick whip and drag to the null layer and let go. Let's start the animation. Select the null layer and press P for position. Now click on the stopwatch icon for keyframe. Our animation is going to be 5 seconds long. Now move the null layer upwards. While moving hold the shift key. It will help you to move in a straight path. Ok. Not bad. I like the animation. Now we are going to add a little bit of rotation. Don't rotate the null layer. Rotate the camera by camera tool. Keyframe the point of interest and position of the camera. Go to the end frame. Now use the orbit camera tool. And give small rotation. Ok it's nice. You can put a lot of time into this and try to make the animation interesting. But I'm satisfied with this animation. Now trim the work area. Now let's start making the scene look nice. So, select the element layer. And open the render settings. And click on the ambient occlusion. And click on the enable AO. And change the AO mode to ray traced. Now we got the ambient occlusion on our tree, but this setting needs good system configuration. It may not be a problem for one tree, but in future we will be making the forest, so it might be a problem. Ok, now let's add a background. Already I have imported a moving clouds video. So, drag it into the timeline. Now solo the layer. And change the 2D layer to 3D layer by clicking the 3D icon. Now turn off the solo layer. Ambient occlusion taking so much RAM. So, turn off AO. We can turn it on at the end. We have to place the background layer at the correct place. So zoom out a bit so that you can have the clear picture of your background layer. Now push it in the Z space and scale it. We don't want to see the edge of the layer. So move the layer accordingly. You can rotate the layer too. Our motto is to use the 2D layer. And make the layer not to look like a 2D layer. So, we have to cover the edge of the layer at all cost. You can push the layer a little more in Z space. And scale it again. Just keep moving and you will get it. Ok. Now it's great. We cannot see the edge. Now. Let's add the sun. And flare. 
create a new layer by pressing Ctrl Y. And use the optical flare. Now click on the option to choose the presets. I'm gonna use the sunspot preset. You can choose a preset according to your background. Now it's rendering on the black solid. So, change the render mode to transparent. Now we are getting closer to what we want. Change the layer mode to add. Sun is not reacting to the camera. So, change the source type to 3D. OK. Now we have to position the sun. Push it in the Z space. And move it up, move upwards until you feel good. Same with the flare. Position the flare too. Zoom out. And push the sun even higher. Now it looks good. Adjust the brightness and scale. Just enough to match the background. Don't increase it too much. Not bad. It's nice. Now to the depth of field. Select the camera and press A. -A. Now turn on the depth of field. Even depth of field needs decent configuration system. Now you can notice our scene got blurred. We have to set the focus distance. So increase the focus distance. Now the center part is focused, but still we are not sure about where the focus starts and ends. So, Element 3D have a solution for that. Select the element layer. And open the depth of field option. And change the DOF mode to focus indicator. Now the focused part is highlighted on the scene. Now you can easily adjust the focus distance. If you want you can animate the focus distance also. Like the focus slightly changing from front to the center. If you think the blur amount is not enough, you can increase it. But too much blur make the scene look like a miniature. But I'm satisfied with this. Once you've done setting the focus distance. Change the DOF mode to pixel blur. Now you can see we got the nice blur. The front part is blurred and the center part is focused. I like it. Ok now you can turn on the ambient occlusion. Let's ramp preview our animation. The ambient occlusion and depth of field makes the scene perfect. Sun behind the tree and the flare also nice. When I created this animation, I was watching the animation again and again, and wondering how nice the animation came out. Then I suddenly realized it looks like a dead tree. I mean the branches are still. And leaves are like plastics sticking to the plastic branches. But. What I really want is. Tree reacting to the wind. And the leaves falling from the tree. I know it's not possible in element 3D. But I created this. It looks awesome isn't it? Moving branches. Wind blow the leaves off the tree. Leaves drifting on the ground. At last I created what I wanted. After I created this. I was watching it again and again. Then I realized something is missing. Then I came up with this. Yes. I added the sound effects to the scene. Ok guys I think this is the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial I will show you how to create an awesome scene using this living tree inside After Effects. So if you are excited to see how I created this living tree, subscribe the channel. If you are an Instagram user you can follow me on Instagram, I have posted even more cool animations in Insta. And also you can ask your questions. By the way. I hope you guys like the surprise. Thank you guys for watching this wonderful video with poor audio. I see you next time.